Welcome to the Adult Bone Marrow Clinic at MD Anderson Cancer Center. To help you understand what a bone marrow procedure involves, let's start with some basics. The marrow is the soft, spongy center part of the bone. Blood cells are produced in the bone marrow. They include red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. The purpose of a bone marrow aspiration and a biopsy test is to check if your bone marrow is working properly. The test can also tell if the cancer has spread to your bones. Your doctor will use this information to determine the best treatment options for you. During a bone marrow aspiration, a sample of fluid with bone marrow cells is taken. The marrow is taken from the soft, spongy center of your hip bone, known as the iliac spine. Alternatively, in a bone marrow biopsy, a small sample of solid bone core is removed. The bone marrow procedure is offered in three different ways. The first option is with locally applied lidocaine. This medicine will numb your skin and make the procedure more comfortable you will be awake during this procedure. The second option is with an anxiolytic. With this option, you will receive medicine that will help relieve your anxiety. You will also be awake during this procedure. The third option is with full sedation. In this option, the medicine will help you relax and block the pain. You will be asleep during this procedure. If you are to have your procedure with full sedation, you will need to follow these instructions. Before your procedure, do not eat or drink anything after midnight. It's important to tell your doctor if you're taking any blood thinning medicines, including aspirin. If you are taking these medicines, you will be told when to stop taking them before your procedure. Otherwise, you may take your medicines as usual. Follow these instructions if you are having the procedure without sedation. These instructions apply to both the lidocaine and anxiolytic options. You will be awake during this procedure. There is no special preparation required. You may eat your normal diet. You may take your medicines as usual, but ask your doctor or nurse about any blood thinning medicines you are taking, including aspirin, before your procedure. If you are taking these, you will be told when to stop taking them before the procedure. These drugs can cause bleeding or bruising at the site. You must have all lab work completed 48 hours before your procedure. Lab work done on the same day may delay the procedure. These blood tests are CBC, PT, and PTT. Report to the location on your appointment schedule. Be sure to report allergies or any sensitivity to anesthesia or tape to the nurse or technician before your procedure. After you check in, a consent will be obtained. At this time, risks and post-procedure instructions will be explained to you. Ask your nurse or technologist if you have any questions or concerns. A nurse will take your vitals. You will lie on either your stomach or your side during the procedure. Remember, if you are having a bone marrow aspiration, liquid blood marrow will be taken. If you are having a biopsy, a solid core piece of bone will be taken. You may feel slight discomfort during the procedure as the marrow shifts. This feeling should not last more than a few seconds. Extra lidocaine may be given if necessary to make the procedure as painless as possible. Immediately after the procedure, your marrow will be sent to the pathology lab for processing. Timely results of bone marrow evaluations are very important in ensuring prompt treatment for our patients.
After the test, you will be able to go home with a caregiver. A wheelchair is available to help you to your car if needed. If you're having the procedure done with anxiolytic or full sedation, you must have a responsible adult to drive you home after the procedure. You may eat and drink after your procedure. We suggest you eat a light meal so your stomach does not get upset. No other precautions are required. Contact your doctor for a follow-up visit. Your doctor will discuss the results of your test with you at the next appointment. Thank you for allowing the bone marrow team to talk to you about this procedure. And please, let us know if you have any questions. Remember, we're here to help you. Thank you.